Now this is one of those places, and I feel very welcome here. Thank you very much. I discovered driving down Cleveland Maslin Road, Route 21 in Bath, yep. 70 miles an hour. I look to the left, I see this white building. Used to be a florist shop. We and, saw smoke. <laughs> yeah, and now it's called the? The Farmer's Rail. The Farmer's Rail. Yep. I gotta tell you, I'm so glad I turned around and checked this place out. How long have you been open? We've been open about six weeks now. Six weeks, and this is like, I call it a butcher shop at first. What do you guys call it? A butcher shop's a good way to explain it, yep. Okay, and you started this with your husband, Jeff. I started this with my husband, Jeff, yes. And it made her just Melanie. Thank you. But more important, <laughs> look at this store. It is unbelievable. I tell you, I'm gonna brag on this place forever. This is the beef when you first walk in the door. And tell me a little bit about the beef and where you guys get it. Yep, so um, the farmer's rail comes from the fact that we're farmers first and about 85% of the meats you see in the case are coming directly from our farms to the back of the house where my butchers cut everything up and into the case. And Jeff is among them? Uh, Jeff is still a farmer, but he's become, you know, our seafood master. He's he's a jack of all trades. Hey, speaking of seafood, okay, yep. you see all this stuff? You guys have to come here. It's like going to a, I don't know, this is a road trip spot. You gotta get in the car and come here. So the seafood, I come over here. Who's the guy with the big mouth over here? We call him Gus. That's our big black grouper. Um, We've got fresh seafood coming in almost every day. Most I see, of it's. I see stone crab claws too. Yeah. You don't oh, see yeah. those every day, right? We are big fans of Key West, so when we saw we were able to get those in, um, it was a definite on our list. We, but got, we got opa, we got mahi mahi, we got the nice little shellfish. Yep, and the selection changes daily. Um, we get in a lot of whole fish, so mm. we're filleting on site um, to keep everything as fresh as possible. I love the yellowfin tuna, that $24.99 a pound, like sushi grade tuna. Yep. But right next to it, those red snappers are fresh. Fresh, fresh, fresh. I mean, yep. those eyes are still looking at you. They are, yeah. yeah. I just had a guy buy one this morning. Um, we'll fillet it right on site. Uh, $10.99 a pound, and yep. that includes filleting it and cleaning it, so yep. that's great. And you guys yep. like chicken. This is the kind of chicken you want to eat. And tell them what the different signs mean. I see one that says pasture raised, is it? Yep, so our farm, Brunty Farms, um, is all about being pasture raised and as natural as possible, processed locally, mm -hmm. right to here. You see so. some frozen stuff here, but yeah. where's, the, where's the pork? <laughs> Right here, David. Oh, look at this. <laughs> look at this. And there is some great stuff here. Like, yeah. Like the different sausage at the Cajun pork bratwurst, the chili verde. So well, how all do you of say that one? Jack Curry. Ooh. Yep. All of our sausage seasonings, um, our homemade recipes, it's all real ingredients, all organic stuff. A lot of taste testing going on. We've been putting out a lot of our, what we yeah. like to call them, boozy bratwurst. So we've got our chili verde with tequila. Great Lakes beer We've got ones. a Great Lakes beer. you got the pork sausage. you got the pork roast. you got the pork chops. Yes. And I'm really wondering, what's this monster case over here? This is our charcuterie case. Most of everything you see in here is coming out of Smoking Goose in Indianapolis. And it's all no nitrate, no MSG, everything in the whole store. You I know, see it's not going to be cured yeah. uh, with anything synthetic. I, so see, I see prosciutto in there. We've got prosciuttos, pancettas, salamis. Bacon. Um, lots of bacon, yes. And we have a ton of artisanal cheeses that we're bringing in. Mm -hmm. Uh, the selection again is changing constantly on that stuff. I'm just crazy for this too. And the, the great thing about this is you look at this and a lot of people won't know what, what it is or how to buy it. You walk to the next case and you look at it and you get all in nice little thin, thin, because thin slices are the best yep. flavors of this, Paper right? Paper thin on this stuff. We sell it all by the sheet. We also do custom charcuterie boards. So that's been a really great thing, you know, that we're getting deli trays together and it's fantastic. parties are stressful enough and, so, and we help that. <laughs> so Jeff's on the farm, yep. Melanie's here. It's called yep. Farmer's Rail and it's on Cleveland Maslin Road, not far from the Gent exit off of 77. Right. Yep. And uh, it sits sort of by itself. So you think you're not going to find it, but it's there. It's it looks here, like a big, the big white, white building. Like, a, like an old Southern mansion kind of place. Yep. I like these guys and they seem to like us too.